I'm Dr. Miwa. Actually, what we are here for today is a very laudable, you know, event at coping the incessant dropping out of students in our various uh, secondary schools. The factor responsible for students dropping out of the school are very high, dry-headed. It cuts across all the strata of the society. Firstly, we have lack of adequate parental care. When the parent cannot take adequate care of their children, regardless of the child left home in the morning to the school, I didn't bother once in a time to visit your child in the school to know the activities he or she is you know, engaging in school without telling him. So a majority of the parents cannot even adequately provide for their children. All these can lead the students dropping out of the school. Where a student that is not well fed, not taken good care of, he can be forced to look for the way out by himself. The other one is what we call child labor. When you engage students who are supposed to be in school, you know, engaging in some sort of you know, labor and activities, the child can eventually drop out of the school. For example, see some of our you know, students here nowadays that are supposed to be even in GSS classes, riding or cars here and there. When the students are exposed to child labor, that kind of a child will eventually drop out of the school. Thirdly, there's what we call peer group influence. Majority of the students have a very good character when they start schooling. From getting to the school, they are being mixed up, you know, having a bad peer group influences. And if it is not, the SS is not poor, and results will be very bad as the student can eventually, you know. Another one is poverty. Poverty. So when there is a lot of poverty on the part of the family, we discover that the child will be wayward. There must be a regulation on child labor from the government. Check the excesses of underage, you know, students riding on cars. There must be a, an age limit for people that are riding on cars. And then the counseling unit in the school. The counseling unit in the school must be reinforced to create awareness to the students on the importance of the education. Another point is the creation of jobs. There must be a mass creation of jobs for the students, especially those that are graduates. That is how, as a source of motivation, encouragement to those that are coming behind. All these parameters can be looked into in order to enhance students to stay in the school and prevent the excesses of dropout students in the school.